When I was younger, I thought engineering was really just building buildings. Um, and so growing up, I did want to become a doctor. When I found out about biomedical engineering, it basically gave me an alternate route to do the exact same thing as you would as a physician. You can still solve that problem, but by building something in a lab. I became an engineer because I wanted to build stuff. Um, engineering is the science of making the impossible possible. That's what it's all about. It's Star Trek, you know. So uh, we're the people that take crazy ideas and make them reality. It's kind of like an artist, I guess. You could compare it to that. They sit and they make a painting. We're given a problem and we get to be creative also in finding a solution. I really like being able to think about you know, robots mining the bottom of the ocean. I really like to think about, you know, sucking carbon out of the air and storing it. I really like to think about these really cool things that are difficult problems to solve, but being able to make serious shots at, at solving them. Um, as engi any engineer probably knows, you come up with so many ideas. If you just have an idea and you're sitting in a lab, where do you go from there? So if what you're doing doesn't improve people's lives or generate more resources, it's probably not gonna have the support needed to, to keep going. That's why it's really important that early on people are able to vet their ideas. I have a great, this great idea. Do you think it's valid? Can I pitch it to someone so I can get feedback? Where do I go from here? Having to focus on funding is a real barrier to innovation. Not having to worry about that frees you up to be creative and to achieve the goals you set for yourself. The Summer Fellowship was essential uh, in giving me the flexibility to keep working on my project, without which I would have had to abandon. I'm here because I, the, the, the culture and the, the opportunity is, is there. I'm here for an education.